Hey guys, what's up? I'm Johnny Rocket. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 3 of Farming Simulator 19 on Ravenport. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut grass and how to make hay out of it. So stay tuned if that's something you're interested in. And let's get farming. Alright guys, so today we are going to start uh, mowing our grass. So I have skipped ahead uh, through most of the spring, got us to midsummer, uh, just because there wasn't a whole lot happening. So it'd be nice to get uh, get some stuff happening rather than just sitting around watching the grass grow. So we've uh, we had a few chickens get born while we were waiting. So I sold them off, kind of keep the numbers low, um, so we're not blowing through our food too quickly. So we've already got almost a full box of eggs. I've got. Uh, it's not showing me there. I've got 132.97 liters, 133 liters. That's almost 100% there. Our grass has fully grown, so we can start mowing that. And uh, we can probably, I think I'll probably turn that into hay to prepare for uh, for when we get cattle. I'll head over to this field and start mowing that. I'll start uh, cutting this, getting this all cut down, and once it's done, we can uh, we can tet it to get it to dry out a little bit quicker. And then once that's done, we just have to wait a little bit, uh, depending on the forecast for the day. If we look at here, we will see today is a pretty good drying day, uh, and then Sunday morning, uh, Sunday actually will be a good drying day. So we will get that dried out and turn it into hay. back over here and we will grab the tether and get this all uh, shaken up and get it uh, dried out nice and quick and turn it into hay okay so I completely forgot to buy the tether and the wind rower so I went ahead and did that I bought the uh, the fent whatever this is the fent something or other uh, twister 601 DN and the fent former 351 DS so those will be fairly small, nothing nothing too big, but we've got a pretty small field, so. Yeah, I completely forgot to buy these, so now we can actually do the hay. Uh, and while I'm over here, I'm actually going to look at seeing how much it'll cost to uh, repair these two tractors to get them a little bit, because you can see this one, the Ford, is very low, um, and I've definitely noticed a bit of a performance issue. So I'm going to get these repaired up, and hopefully that'll help us keep our speeds up a little bit better and repair oh yeah $597 it's the painting that'll kill you $4,400 to repaint it yeah no thanks I will uh, I'll stick with the, the paint job I've got so we'll get this oh not that one this one repaired $222 back up brand new so about $700 to repair them that's not bad all right, so we will head back to the farm and get this uh, tetted. You'll also notice over there is a uh, trailer, animal trailer. So while I was fast forwarding through the spring, 
um, this actually went on sale. So I got it for a good price. Um, I don't know if that's a mod I've mentioned already, but um, occasionally different things will go on sale through the mod. So this is uh, what's on sale right now, the Bandit 750 and the Dutes Far Series 9. Uh, as you can see, they're both 10% off. So if I go in here, uh, oh no, it doesn't show you the, the original price, but 10% off, it's $45,900. So I think I got this for, I think 15 to 20% off, something like that. Yeah, so that'll be, uh, it'll be good to have once we get the cattle, because then we can, I think it takes six cattle, six or eight cattle. this I dropped the winner off in the barn and we are ready to head some hay well I guess some grass right now turn it into hay so all this is doing is basically just taking all the the wet grass that is currently on the ground and just kind of spreading it out allowing it to turn over and get more air into it to dry it out dry it out a little bit quicker and hopefully this will be maybe not by the end of today but for sure by tomorrow this should be hay that we can then pick up and be dried out well enough that we can just stick it into the silo and once we have our cattle we can feed it to them. just turned four o'clock the grass is all tedded it's turned over and should dry out fairly quickly uh, so once that's done we can then windrow it and pick it up with our forge wagon which is just in here okay so the grass has turned into hay now so we can windrow this and scoop it up with the forge wagon. Let's get started with that. We'll grab the, uh, the Ford. And I'll grab... Actually, I have to move with this guy. I have to move the windrower out of the way. Pull him forward. And... Over here, grab this guy, and we will get windrowing. All right, we're at the field ready to windrow. So I'm gonna start just a little bit off the uh, the outside edge here so I make sure I get any bits that might be sticking off the field. And we'll push it all into one row. And we'll get this all merged together and then we can come with the forge wagon and scoop it up.
forge wagon out now. We can just go along these rows and scoop everything up here. Let's see, there we go. Get out of that tree. So you can see that the, the hay is just filling up the wagon. And now, instead of bailing it, we can just kind of keep it loose and make it a little bit easier for us without the, uh, ooh, that's a weird texture going on there. But it makes it a little bit easier for us. We can just kind of keep it loose, put it in trailers, and don't have to worry about bale shredders or cutting them and moving them or anything like that. It's just we can just throw it in the trailer right from the silo and away we go. So we get just over 11,000 for this field, which is nice. I can go and drop this off and then finish off that field. And that'll be a nice amount of uh, feed for us to start. Um, we'll have to see exactly how much they get, but we should double this as well this year. Um, we'll get for sure another another haul at the end of the at the end of the summer. We'll get some in autumn, but we'll have. Uh, two crop yields for this year and then that'll be more than enough to start us off in the spring with cattle and then we'll have another couple the next year so it's nice to have a little bit of a buffer to start good for a field with uh, uh, no fertilizer on it so that's basically about as basic of a yield as we're gonna get um, once we start doing crop rotations and uh, fertilizing we'll probably get a bit more than that out of the field but for now that's that's plenty for what we need and so now this field is harvested you'll see that it is still green so it still has the grass base um, so this will grow back and by the end of uh, the end of the year, we'll have another uh, another bit of field we can we can harvest to get more grass and turn into hay. And then eventually we'll move into uh, TMR, getting silage and hay and straw and all that. But that's quite a ways down the road, so just have to keep that in mind while we um, make room that we keep room for uh, silage silos show you what those are go over here when you go into silos you'll see there's these bunkers i like the open ones because you can kind of just go in and out um the closed ones are kind of nice because you can just pile it at the end but i like being able to kind of get in from both ends so there's a few different styles of of bunkers for silage I believe this is the smallest one just a few tires stacked up along themselves and there's this guy which is still it's one of the smaller ones but still fairly small or fairly large rather takes up quite a bit of space but that's something to look forward to um, maybe maybe year two more likely year three or four uh, just because it's a whole lot more involved doing all that and we'd probably spend 30 to 40 thousand on uh, hopefully just one of the wagons or something we can get um, to mix the the TMR Either that, or you can get the uh, the silos that do it for you, but those are crazy expensive and not really worth it for the amount of feed we'd be using. We would probably look at something like the Knight RA-142 here. Um, basically just throw in, uh, I think it's 40, 40, 20% um, A silage straw in that order. Um, I think you can just do A and silage 
and then straw just adds like a filler if you want to you don't have to use straw i believe you can just use hay and silage but something to look forward to well guys thank you so much for watching this episode of farming simulator 19. if you liked it click that like button if you want to see more of this series and more of farming simulator click subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. The link will be down in the description. You can also buy Farming Simulator 19 for yourself uh, as well in the description. And Farming Simulator 22 will be coming out in less than a month. November 22nd, I believe, is the date. Once again, I am Johnny Rocket. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.